Senator Rennick. Hi guys, how are you going? Uh, my first question is in, is in regards to the weight of the uh, Moderna vaccine. The dose was 100 microns, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct, 100 microgram dose. For Can the, you explain? Uh, Yep, thank you. Can you explain why that is almost three times uh, bigger than the Pfizer weight of 30 microns? Pfizer used 30 microns and Moderna used 100. Why the difference in weight? So I can't speak to the dose selected by Pfizer for their vaccine, um, but I can uh, tell you that <laughs> we studied a variety of doses in early phase clinical trials, um, and we selected the, uh, the optimal dose based on the results of those early, early studies. Okay, so if you've got the optimal dose, what's Pfizer got then? Um, again, I can't, I can't comment on uh, what uh, other companies' products. They obviously have access to, to information about their products that I don't have. Okay, so does Moderna use the same mRNA sequence as the Pfizer mRNA sequence? I'm led to believe that Moderna used two stop codons and Pfizer used three stop codons, is that correct? I think the sequence is very similar. Um, but there were differences, weren't there? There are, there are differences in the, in the uh, overall um, vaccine composition. So tell me this, how is it then you're both coding for the same spike? You're clearly not coding for the same spike protein then, are you? If you're using a different code to what Pfizer is. I mean, there, there's the alpha variant has a specific genetic sequence. Now, one of you two aren't coding to that sequence, if not, if not both of you. Again, I can't speak for for uh, the Pfizer product as I uh, uh, we, we are aware that our our sequence that we have used um, uh, corresponds to the spike protein of the ancestral strain of the virus, um, and uh, uh, I would refer you to Pfizer to, to ask about the sequence that they've used. Okay, does the Moderna mRNA use uridine or methyl pseudo uridine? Uh, methyl pseudo uridine. So that's not mRNA, is it? That's, that's modified RNA? It's modified RNA, that's correct. Right, because everyone calls it mRNA, but it's not really, is it? And did you also use it is, trans... It is, it is, it is, it's a modified mRNA, so it is messenger RNA. That's right, but... Modified and Pfizer say RNA. that they use that particular um, nucleotide to increase the expression <clears throat> of the actual vaccine. So Again, that would I'm, make the vaccine stronger, not weaker than the virus. Is that correct? I'm, I can't comment on Pfizer's uh, product. I'm just well, well OK, that. let me put it another way. Why did you use methyl pseudouridine and not the natural substance uridine? I think this was... Uh, uh, there was a, a 10 years that Moderna spent uh, optimising um, the use of uh, different types of uh, RNAs. Um, and uh, it was found that uh, the methyl pseudouridine um, had a, a, in, improved properties. And you can take this on notice. Did you do distrib distribution and degradation studies on that methyl pseudouridine? Um, yeah, I'll have to take that one on notice. OK, because I know Pfizer didn't do that. Um, do you, uh, one of the side effects of the Moderna vaccine is myocarditis, so I didn't have much luck with Pfizer. Can you explain why the vaccine, the Moderna vaccine, causes myocarditis in young people? Do you understand the pathway? Do, yeah, what we do know is that, uh, that uh, myocarditis has been reported in rare circumstances. After I, I realise that. That's not my question. Do you understand RNA why vaccine. it causes and the injury? I, I just wanted to explain that, it caught, that we, myocarditis is observed after RNA vaccines and non-RNA uh, COVID-19 vaccines, as well as after uh, COVID infection. In fact, it's much more frequent after COVID infection. And that does give some clues towards uh, what, uh, what the mechanism might be. And um, we have uh, put in place a number of studies to further investigate uh, the uh, cases of myocarditis that occur after uh, uh, vaccination with, our, with uh, spike vax. So do you think there's a risk that the vaccine could induce a T cell response, a killer T cell response that attacks healthy cells in the heart? Um, that is, uh, that is a, a, a speculation. I, I couldn't comment on that. Well, well, isn't that the point of the whole vaccine, to induce antibodies and T-cells responses? So, in, indeed, the, uh, the, it's been demonstrated that the vaccine does induce a strong neutralising antibody response to the spike protein, and we also see uh, cellular immunity. Um, 
That's, and, and, that's and a, so you're saying the Moderna doesn't cause a T cell response because the Pfizer one does. So just just before you answer that, if you wouldn't mind, just send her in a, uh, one more question after this. Okay, yeah. thanks, Chair. Yeah. So no, I, I I did state that neutralising antibodies and a cellular immune response. Right, T cell. Just, okay. <laughs>